Notion had a big enough feature update that I decided to make a video on it? Yes, you're right. This day in Notion history is huge because we finally have grouping functions. I actually noticed this because a couple other YouTubers decided to post about it. Sometimes Notion makes great updates and they don't exactly showcase it on like their uh, like what's what's new page on their website. And I don't go on social media, so. Notion made a grouping feature for databases that is really awesome. And before I dive into all that, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Just like the video I made about them buying Automate IO, I'm trying to keep you guys up to date with like the Notion news that's going on. And for this one, it's gonna be a feature so let's dive into my workspace and show you guys exactly what it's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, I am stoked. We finally have a new feature in Notion that's just gonna be absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go to my task and event calendar really quick and show exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go into my all tasks section of my task and event calendar. If we go to the three dots here, we can turn on something called grouping. So the grouping is right in the three dots here. So group. And what we can do is we can group it by different things. I have a bunch of different properties that I'm gonna show you the example of real quick. It's gonna be great. So first and foremost, we can do a task group. So does it have no task group? Is it work? Is it, is it a side hustle? Is it housekeeping? Is it exercise? Is it scheduling and reflection? Is it social? Is it school? We can group things now. It's so awesome. And, and what's great about it is it automatically gives you toggles and you can kind of differentiate the different things and, and you can create a page within the buckets of these different groupings really quickly. And it's just so good that we get to quickly and easily do this. So now if we want to change this grouping, let's say we don't want it by task group or we want to hide empty groups. What we can do is we can change this as well by say if we want to hide this no task group, we want to hide work. We want to hide side hustle. This is how we can make different views in Notion, different database views that can really get more customized now that we have this option. Say we just want to, we had one that is like, all right, our task group isn't just side hustle. It's a bunch of different tags, right? So if we go into tags here, I have a bunch of them, right? But what I can do is I could take off these and I could hide essentially anything that's not just for content purposes, right? I could hide everything that's not a task or a tag that's a content based tag. So there's a bunch of more hidden groups there that we could show, but this is what we got for now. Uh, we could also do a grouping by date here and you can sort it by chronological, reverse chronological, uh, we can have it be the different months. Uh, that's kind of what it's going through now because this is a long time that I've done this. So this is going to go through and have it filtered by literally every month. And we can break this down in a better sense for us. So if we go back here to the grouping section, uh, we could hide stuff. So if we want to hide a bunch of the empty groups in there or if we want to hide a bunch of the months that we don't want, like we could filter this beforehand, like say this could be filtered to uh, within the past, like, and that would get rid of a lot of these. And time, let's actually do within the last month. So as you can see, it's gonna break it down differently and not have nearly as many of these. So we hide them all. So now that we hit those, it's gonna give us different options like the last 30 days, the last seven days, yesterday, today. And this is an interesting breakout as well if we wanna see stuff that's grouped a little bit better. And if we wanna turn off the grouping, what we can do is just go back here and press none and that'll ungroup everything for you. So if we wanna show something in a bit more of a planning sense, which is nice, I'm gonna to go to my framework, which is like my ideal week. And what's really awesome is you can group here, you can do subgroups for board views. So if we press this, uh, we see that there's the visible groups here, uh, whether it be the, the days of the week, but that's usually what you're able to do in board group. And if you wanna go to subgroup, which is even cooler, is now that we have the one part figured out, as you can see here, there's like these different task types I have, right? So there, there's these tags. Uh, and this would be sort of what is the, the bucket that this falls under? Is this YouTube? Is this a podcast? So if we go into subgroups, 
we can take this and we can do tags, right? So then, what? It's going to go through and do the same sort of breakout between days of the week. But then this is the YouTube bucket. The work buckets here, we can go through and hide these. So if I quickly go to subgroup, I hide work, I add, I hide exercise, it's probably enough. So we're going to have YouTube specifics. We're going to have the blog. We're going to have the podcast. We're going to have social media and like when I post on social media, we're going to have sales funnels. We're going to have housekeeping. Like this is ways that you can bucket things. And it's really good if you have different content platforms, you just want to get a quick look at when am I posting what, what is my ideas regarding like these board views and, and where can I utilize this functionality to get a better and clear idea of when I'm doing things on certain days, not only across all channels, because in this circumstance, I only can see it in all channels, but I can do it with one channel at a time. Like this is all my YouTube stuff. This is valuable to me. I can see, okay, this is my breakout regarding YouTube work. And then if we look at something like the podcast, okay, it's pretty first of the first half of the week heavy. Maybe we can do stuff later in the week, but if we want to get back to it being all in one, we can take subgroup, and we can do none. So last but not least, what I'm gonna do here is really interesting. So if we go into this, this is the Rise Productive Hub. It's kind of like where Chance and I get our little uh, action going for the work that we're supposed to be doing. So if we go to this upcoming task section, what I can do is, I gotta move this guy over. We go to the three dots, we can group it. And this is the first time I'm showing you a list view, but we can group by assign to. And this is going to be huge for teams. I'm probably keeping it like this for a reason. Look at this. I mean, this is so much better. This is such a better view. You can see clearly it's bucketed and it's auto toggled. And you just you have such a clear idea of who's doing what in this view. And that is awesome. For teams, this is gonna be a game changer, especially for projects, and I'm really excited to see where Notion, people who use Notion and Teams take this further. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see any more Notion updates or videos on how to use Notion, please make sure to hit that playlist right there in the end screens. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.